you doing? How's it going? 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 How's it and their, their, their slogan was, their song was, Long Live Long Necks and Lone Star Beer. Yeah, I remember that. It's going to be a huge challenge. Yeah. Well, if you think of beer as 5% alcohol, it's 95% water. Right. And if that water doesn't taste very good, beer fucking tastes very good. Or good. consistent. Right, right. So there's a big boon for us. So. Hang on a second. How's it going? What do you want? Oh yeah, man. That's what I'm talking about. All right, hey, thanks, man. Cubs are gonna win it this time. That's right, they are. <laughs> We're gonna win it, all right. We are thrilled to have Governor Jeb Bush with us today as part of the Arizona Chamber's leadership series. Uh, and we're thrilled to be able to host it at one of the great businesses in Arizona. It's the kind of executive leadership, executive leadership, that I think endears Governor Bush to many people in this country. And if he decides to run for president, I hope there's a 45 in his future. Thank you, and Governor, welcome to Arizona. Thank you very much. Thanks, CA. Thank you, CA. Today in America, if you're born poor, you're more likely to stay poor than any time in modern history. And if you're in the middle, as I said, we're getting, you're getting squeezed. We had a billion dollars of reserves when I started. We ended up with close to $10 trillion. And Florida was the only state during those eight years to go from AA to AAA. That's what conservative principles applied in a leadership manner can bring. It can bring a more prosperous place where people do have a chance to rise up. I would say to lower corporate rates, and individual rates for that matter, as low as possible, and eliminate as many expenditures in the tax code as possible. Del estado de, de Florida aquí con nosotros. It's a great pleasure to have you here. I will not that ask you. must be Northern Irish, because I didn't sound like Irish. <laughs> um, we've managed to rupture the relationship with Canada, for crying out loud, our largest trading partner. We now have disputes that are kind of hard to imagine. What's the role of America going forward? Are we gonna pull back now and be defeatist and pessimistic? Or are we going to engage in a way that creates a more peaceful and secure world? That is what 2016 is about. Not about 2000, not about 1992, not about 1980, but about the future. And I hope that you want leaders that are gonna be forthright in their views, that will express those views with compassion and conviction and do so so there's a clear understanding for America's role in the world. I believe it's important, and I hope you do as well. Governor, I, on behalf of the Arizona Chamber of Commerce and Industry, I just want to thank you for spending this morning with us. I want to thank... Thank you, guys.